And welcome back to another In the Know segment. Election Day is right around the corner. And joining us this morning is Tazewell County Clerk and Recorder of Deeds, John C. Ackerman, to explain to us about voter intimidation. So when voters go to the poll, what is voter intimidation? Can you speak about that? Well, Illinois has a 100-foot uh, election campaign free zone in front of every polling location, all the ballot boxes, and that's to prevent anybody from intimidating voters, uh, obstructing them as they try to go to the polls, um, uh, no way of trying to uh, persuade them of how they should be able to vote or how they should vote. Um, so uh, those zones are open and enforced by the election judges at all of those locations to make sure that individuals can transverse to and from the polling location without any problems. And what is voter? What are examples of voter intimidation, you know, for people that don't know what that is? Yeah, commonly the things we look for is uh, candidates' shirts, uh, paraphernalia on them, the hats, uh, a button, stuff like that. It's something that would be telling a voter which way they should vote. Um, other things could be there is a law in the state of Illinois. The only two people that can't go to the polls with you is your the owner of your business and your union representative. reason for that is that used to be a form of voter intimidation. If you want to be employed here, this is how you'll vote, and I'll make sure of it. Or if you want to be in our union, this is how you're going to vote. Those things are forbidden now. So you know, there's different things like that that are established within the law to make sure that when you're in the polls and you're voting, it is up to you how you want to do it. Now, voters can bring with them anything that they believe would be supportive. So can I write down in advance what candidates I want to vote for so I remember them? Absolutely. Right. You can bring those cheat sheets in. Bring your cell phone in with you and, and scroll through and pick out what you want. But shouldn't be anything that really prevents the voter from casting their choice of who they want to vote for. And what about, you know, people who want to wear who they represent? You know, if voters go to the polls in Peoria County, McLean County, Tazewell County, can they wear, you know, what they represent or again, how does that, that work? Again, that's that 100 foot campaign free zone. So no, if they show up with um, items that show uh, uh, Make America Great Again hats, um, vote for uh, Team Harris, anything like that, they will be turned away from the polls and asked not to be within that 100-foot zone. Now, if they've got like a shirt on and they put a jacket over it, then we can't see it, that's fine. And I also bring up to my judges, don't look for items. Uh, don't, don't be hunting for them. So if there's a small button that nobody really notices on somebody's purse, mm -hmm. is that really worth making a, a, a scene over? Uh, that's up to each election judge to decide. But I usually advise them, don't make a scene if, it, if it's not readily, easily seen. Um, but if it's a campaign hat, campaign shirt, um, it's just not allowed within those polling locations within that camp free zone. Right, and you know, obviously you're the Tazewell County Clerk and Recorder of Deeds. Have you guys experienced situations like this leading up to Election Day? Have you seen this or have you seen it throughout different counties or throughout the state? Happens every election. We have individuals that show up uh, wearing items. Um, we have I've actually had county board members, when they're on the ballot, park with signs, vote for, and their name on there in front of the building. Well, that's a campaign-free zone. I can't have that. So we've had to advise some county board members. So it's not just the national candidates. It can happen at the local level, too. It, and it happens, again, every election. Most of the time, it's accidental. Individuals don't know. Um, it's never an issue, at least in Tazewell County, where it's been something that has had to be more than a request to the individual to change. It should be right. known, though, if you don't abide by the election judge's request, it is something they can call law enforcement and have you removed. Um, the judges are the overall authority in charge of that polling location. And if I am going to the polls as a voter, or if voters in McLean County, Peoria County, Tazewell County, if they go and vote on election day and if they see, you know, some type of voter intimidation, what should they do and how can they handle that situation? Report it to the election judges, and the election judges are trying to report it to us as the election authority. You can also report it directly to the election authority. Um, and, and last option, if neither of those two are, are available, is to call law enforcement. But I'd really press you to talk to the election judges first, then try the election authority before you get to law enforcement, only because most of the time it's something that we can handle without having to drain the resources of law enforcement. Right. And now that election day is coming up and there maybe are some voters that haven't registered yet in Tazewell County or in the surrounding areas, what can they do and how can they register for now that election? Is At this point, we're past grace period where we've shut off voter registration 
elsewhere, so they have to go to their polling uh, to their election authority to register to vote, and they'll be asked to vote at that point because uh, the, we're past the point in which they can register in advance. Registration takes place all the way through election day. It's just only at the election authority's offices. So you need to go to their offices in order to take care of that. Well, thank you so much, John C. Ackerman, for joining us on In the Know. And if you want to join, join us on In the Know, you can go to 25newsnow.com. And thank you so much for, letting, for us, letting us know about more of voter intimidation. That was very interesting. Thank, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>